Welcome to this new section. In this section, I'm gonna go through each tip and show you examples on how to take a better portrait. I'm gonna use photos that I've taken specific to each tip. Let's check out composition and background. Composition and background are often the first thing that you're going to have to deal with. It's going to affect the color, the lighting, and how your subject is seen. There's a huge difference between inside location and an outside location, and you can use those to your advantage. Most of the time outdoors, I'm going to find a background that's at least five feet or more away from my subject, is the same general exposure as my subject, and is not distracting. I'm also gonna be looking at where the sun is, but I'm usually gonna to try to aim for the shade if I can. We'll touch more on this in lighting and exposure. Indoors, it's hard to find the separation between subject and background. You won't always be able to get five feet away. So I always focus first on finding the right light and then making sure the background is simply not distracting or is adding to the story of the portrait. Let's first talk about backgrounds. You won't always be able to pick and choose your background, but when you can, you should try to make it work for you. Often the background will end up being out of focus or underexposed compared to your subject, so you can get away with a lot by hiding stuff. Here are a few tips to make sure that you choose the right background for your specific photo. One, pick a background that's not going to take away from your subject. Don't use one that has lots of detail and patterns. This could be distracting. Try to stay away from overexposed whites and bright colors. Often an overexposed window, white wall, or brightly colored buildings are going to be the focus of your photo and not your person. Human eyes tend to go to the brightest spot first when they look at a photo, so we don't want that to be behind your portrait. Number two, pick a background that makes sense with your subject. If you're shooting a bride with a lot of green in her flowers, that look, then look for something that matches that. If you can use your photo background to play up what you're shooting, that will make your picture look way better. You want everything in your photo to be on purpose and not a distraction. Number three, Professional backgrounds can make all the difference. You can see here in this video, I'm in front of a colored paper wall. These are not too expensive and they're great for headshots. Just make sure you pick the right color for your subject. A soft turtle shell design gray is what I use for most professional headshots. I can also leave it wrinkled because I know it's going to be out of focus when I shoot it. It will also work great with any skin tone and most colors for wardrobes. Composition can really say a lot about what you're trying to express. Negative space photo like this one evokes a certain feeling. While cutting off a part of a person's face is saying something else. The key here is to decide what you're feeling and what you want to create. For beginners, it's best to do the traditional center frame photo. It's classic and it's usually a good place to start. When you start to feel comfortable with that, then you should try pushing your subject to one side of the frame or the other. Lead room in front of someone's face will allow them to seem contemplative, while centering a person because of symmetry in the background evokes calmness and balance. Personally, I've always felt you can never get close enough. When you're trying to connect with someone, it's usually about their eyes. The expression, the eyes are the window to the soul is more prevalent here than I think anywhere else. Connection and expression can be seen deep within eyes. If your photo can capture that, it's sure to be a hit. The easiest way to think about composition is to remember that there's no set way for most photos. Unless you're taking a professional headshot, you can frame any way you think the photo demands.